Welcome to the spiritguys.co.uk network radio. This week's show is a journey into consciousness, working through the wonderful trance mediumship of Mick and Sylvie Avery, with wisdom brought through by spirit guy Gregory Hay. To find out more about their work, you can visit www.spirit-teaching.com. Okay, I would like to dedicate these sessions to questions and answers related to metaphysical subjects and how they fit into the current world events. Also having a clear understanding of the awakening that the world is seemingly going through at this time and the true nature of our reality and our place within it. Plus all methods by which consciousness or the one expresses itself through either physical matter or energy. I wish the sessions to be as open as possible and for no limits to be placed on the information asked or received. I feel that humanity has boxed itself in for too long. We had sadly cut ourselves off from the bigger picture. However, that looks all set to change. Creation is so much more than people realise that in my opinion, even our science fiction writers don't even come close to expressing. I believe the possibilities are simply endless and magical beyond description. I hope these sessions will help open people's minds and allow them to make a quantum leap spiritually. What seemed crazy a century ago is now taken for granted. So I ask our listeners to keep an open mind. Thank you very much. Gregory, are you with us? Well, hello, my dear Ben. (laughs) With love and light, blessings be upon your journey, dear Ben. Blessings to you, Gregory. It's wonderful to have you on board. Thank you ever so much for being a part of these shows. I really do hope that we can um, help bring some great information and knowledge forward. You are most welcome, dear friend, and the many thousands of individuals who are here at this time from the White Cloud Group and the Spirit World. I thank you very much. Um, first question. Before we start delving into the mysteries of the universe, I would like to um, like you to give our listeners a brief bio of who you are and the levels of consciousness you aim to connect with in order to achieve the answers to my questions. Well, my dear friends, I am Gregory Hay. I was born in 1705 near to the village of Swatham at a place called West House in the county of Norfolk. I was the son of a poor peasant farmer and I lived until 1723 when I was run over by a coach and four horses. I had a simple meagre life, although you would not feel that now. I, in fact, uh, spoke in a very uh, strange dialect at the time of my physical life. And much of my condition was really in a sense of, uh, I suppose you could say, making survival count. My mother passed when I was just three and a half years of age. And the whole situation for my father, John Hay, was a perilous one. We continued uh, to support one another throughout our existence. And at the point of my passing, In 1723, I remember quite clearly that it was a a very dark night and it was raining and I was run over by a coach of four horses and decapitated. Since my passing in 1723, I have had a great deal to do with the spirit world, naturally because I live there, but actually it's a point of fact because I was asked to be a spokesperson for this particular group. And this group, the White Cloud group, were actually brought together by uh, White Cloud, who is a shining one of the group. And I will explain a little more about this situation in a little while, if you wish. Uh, This whole situation was brought together, in, in fact, at the instance of my journey to the Halls of Learning after my passing. This was actually brought about by my mother, who uh, helped me to journey to the halls of learning. And what transpired then was that I was greeted by many different beings of different species, not necessarily anything to do with the earth or tied to the earth, but species from all over the universe. 
And the whole situation was that these species were all brought together with their own information, their own um, observations of life, if you like, of the lives that they led, and also, of course, of pure, beautiful spirit, just as you were before you had a physical life. And each and every one who joins with us here, and it's not the same people all of the time, the whole situation changes, and different people come depending upon what subject matters they are that we need to talk about. I myself, of course, gained some uh, elements of wisdom during my time in the spirit world, in the halls of learning, as everyone does. No one is left out here. But of course, it always comes to the, I suppose you could say, the amount of vibration at which you have uh, aligned to during your physical life. Now, I myself was uh, a fairly loving person, I suppose. I had a uh, a very good, some very good relationships with many people in my physical life. So that meant that uh, the energy of love that I had generated and my uh, cause, if you like, of how I uh, conducted myself in my physical life meant that I actually had access to a great many areas within the halls of learning, as any of you will also have similar accesses depending upon the vibration index at which you adhere to during your physical life. The love that you create within your being is so important, centrally important for this makeup, the matrix, if you like, of the, the whole entirety of your conscious physical efforts, as also your spiritual efforts too. Yes, that leads me on to another question there, Gregory, is um, obviously um, a lot of um, understanding on, on the earth plane with regards to the spirit world. Um, some people um, will limit themselves to um, having a very human kind of interpretation of, of the spirit world and may not want to open up to possibilities that you can have other civilizations or other species from other cosmoses, universes, that kind of thing in the spirit world. And so therefore, it's in my understanding that um, it's almost like when people first pass over, they will only see or experience exactly what they believe their spirit world to be. So you almost have to expand your mind a bit further to perhaps experience what you've experienced. Is that, is that true to say, would you say? That is absolutely so, my dear friend. After all, now, for example, I was brought up Roman Catholic of that kind of faith, even though at that time it was still uh, quite frowned upon, thanks to Henry VIII and the ensuing years of his uh, debacle of, of uh, the whole religious attitude. Uh, similarly, then, dear friend, you have many different people, as many different religions as there are upon the physical life of the earth. You have all of these people decompartmentalized within the spirit world, calling their little acre God's realm. Whereas, and in actual fact still, for many, uh, citing hell for anyone who doesn't follow them. That is much the same, of course, the kind of behavior as they illuminated to in their physical life. And sadly, for some people, they do not overcome that. I'm not saying that they never do. I'm saying that it's a matter of their choice. So for many people, they feel very comfortable in that coat they have worn in physical life, and they are perfectly happy to just stick with it. That's exactly the same as people's behavior. Spirit behavior isn't anything to do with it. You have to understand, as a physical being, that when you are talking about spirit, you aren't talking about yourself, in a sense. And I will try to quantify that a minute. I, I'm saying, quite simply, that it's your consciousness when you pass that, in a sense, it illuminates your spirit or not. So your spirit remains beautiful and pure and is always in the ether world. Never, ever come, does it come to the physical side of life. But in actual fact, so you have all of these people, beings, in the spirit world who have this mixture of consciousness w with which they have coated their pure, beautiful spirit. 
And if that level of consciousness is uh, abducted, is particularly low, or if it is fractionated because of their, that person's thoughts, their conscious mind, is what has traveled with them to the spirit world and is coating their spirit. So their pure, beautiful spirit is still saddled with this conscious effort of that the person has already learnt during their physical life. And for some people, they simply cannot break it. It's almost like a beautiful light with a mucky, dirty filter over the top. Yes, yes, quite so. Yes, or looking through a, uh, a glass which is dirty on the other side. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, listening to the, uh, the times that you lived in, um, or, or the time when there was obviously oppression with Henry VIII, that kind of stuff, um, within the 